If you look at the large-scale National Grid power station in West Seneca, you'll see a recently completed $120 million utility project, which started in 2016 for those 115,000 volt power lines. But now National Grid announcing an over $4 billion upstate upgrade covering everything from reinstalling up to 1,000 miles of those large-scale transmission lines to more improved power stations and other improvements. A lot of our transmission infrastructure was built in the first half of the 20th century. The needs of our customers have changed and they're going to be changing again as more and more technologies that are electrically driven uh, get introduced. To and to literally power all those future required electric vehicles and heat pumps and other clean green infrastructure. Can you be ready? Because we hear the grid is possibly going to be overloaded. Uh, can you be ready to meet those goals? Yeah, so this is a big step uh, in that process. National Grid must assist the state's goal of hooking up those utility transmission lines to upstate renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and other techniques. It's been in place for hydro like Niagara Falls for decades, but today's energy source mix shows renewables at just roughly 16 percent. The state's quote ambitious goal, 70 percent by 2030, quite a ways to go. National Grid emphasizes there's more to its plan beyond transmission lines. The upstate upgrade goes much deeper than that. Uh, there are 45 substations across upstate New York that are scheduled to be rebuilt as well. Some of those here in Buffalo also more reliability with weather. Wind events, snow events uh, here in western New York uh, seem to be much more commonplace. We need to build our system so that we can minimize the impact of those weather events. Our national grid customers are going to have to pay for this. And I don't think we have the numbers in place, but they will pay for it. Um, it will impact customer bills, but it's not going to be today. It's going to be years out. Now, the State Public Service Commission did put extra cost for utility customers at 3 to 16 percent. And some commissioners say future upgrades may bring higher costs. On your side, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.